Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh! oh! That was clean as fuck. That was really clean. Oh, Some back in the day. Oh my god. Dude, the mustache looked good on him. Oh my god. I remember that one night when I was chilling outside. You were peering out your window. <laughs> and I saw you and I didn't know. I didn't know what to say. I wish I walked up to you. I wish I had asked if you were okay. Now I just sit here with all of this regret. I feel like the one to blame. Shit, man. Wow, he did a whole music video for this. Holy shit. That's incredible. Wow. That's awesome. I just thought it was like, I didn't know what to expect for. Actually, I didn't know. Mitch could have been in a scene band 100%. He, he could he could have been in the scene by 100 percent I'm stuck in the past. How long will this last? Good question. Will be fast. I wish I was back in 2015 when our lives were so easy. <laughs> yeah, and same. Everything felt like it had so much meaning. Yeah. And there's Damn. not much to say. I miss you every day. And I'm lost without. That was a really good video. Like, I'm, I'm really glad Mitch brought this out. Uh, I know he had a lot of reservations about it and everything like that. I, I, I am. I'm, I'm really glad that he brought it out. And it was really good, man. It was just a, it was just a great video. And I, I think it's just. I think for Mitch, right, because like Mitch and and uh, and, and Reckful had that falling out, and I, I think like you know it was kind of it, it probably just you know I, I don't want to speak for Mitch, right, but like it clearly wasn't the way he wanted it to end, right, and it's just sad. It it's just fucking sad, man. Like, uh, hope this helps Mitch. I, I think it does to an extent. Yeah. I mean, cause like to me, like Reckful and I were never like really, really close. Right. I talked to Reckful a few times, asked his advice. The reason you guys see me on this camera right now is because of Reckful. Right. But, uh, like him and Mitch were really close friends and like, it, it's hard for me really to relate because I've never had somebody like really close to me die. Like, I'll just say, it. I've, I've never really had that happen. But, um, I, there, there's been, like, some times where, like, we found out that somebody, like, I played WoW with, like, died or something like that. And it, it does suck. I, I still, like, I still remember whenever, uh, you know, we found out, like, one of our, our, our guildmates uh, died. It was, like, a car, car wreck or something like that. 
I remember like I was in Strand of the Ancients whenever I heard about it and it was sad and it's weird to think that that happened and is so long ago and nobody remembers and I'm glad that Mitch made the song and that way we won't forget it's a good song shout out to Mitch Jones the song is ill nasty let's do the uh let's do the sword run guys it's a great great video uh if mods want to link it go ahead yeah that that'd be good yeah if mods want to link it <sighs> fuck man fuck who disliked i don't know it's people i mean like there's people didn't like people didn't like mitch jones i mean there's plenty of people don't like mitch jones or wreckful right i mean I, I, obviously like it's uh, it, it, it sucks that people are like that or whatever, but at the end of the day, I mean, you're always going to have somebody who wants to go against the grain to prove that they're like edgy or, or whatever. I mean, the thing is that I think you give that stuff power whenever you spend a lot of a time like getting mad and like, oh, wow, this person is so, uh, you know, they're so heartless. They're making jokes about it or whatever. They're saying it's stupid or, you know, they're glad or whatever. Like, the thing is that people like that the way that i've always looked at things is that almost all things that people do 90 90 percent of the time probably have to do with something that's inside their own head and not something that's external right like if you if you want to understand why somebody does something, if you understand enough about what's going on in their head, you can predict basically what they're going to do and what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, it's projecting. Yeah, I think a lot of the times people like have these negative opinions and want to say this negative shit. 90% of it is probably projecting. And there's some way it's like, you know, this person is coping with their own problems or they're trying to rationalize something in their own head. And it's like, the thing is that it's a very fine line between understanding and kind of like just writing what people do off as like, oh, not important. But in general, I try to understand where somebody's coming from, even if that person is a uh, is a piece of shit as much as I can. And um, I think that's something that more people need to do.